Well, again, action continuing tonight here at Nostalgia Night 2021, the Orange County Fair Speedway, and trading some racing secrets here. Kenny Brightbill, Kevin Collins, Jimmy Horton. Kenny, uh, uh, you still trading secrets out here as to what it takes to get around the 5 8 mile? I don't know if the, what I knew back then would do any good today. <laughs> yeah, but I'll tell you what, she hasn't changed a whole lot. We put a couple of inches of new, uh, new racing surface down there, spruce the old gal, old gal up a whole, whole lot, but uh, you got to still get the itch to be in behind the wheel. Oh, I'd like to do it yet, but I'm tired of all the work that we had in all, to get it all done, so that's why I quit. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an eight night a week project, and then of course you get one more night out of that to put it on the track and race it, but uh, still involved in the sport, still get to go out and see a lot of racing action? I get out every once in a while. Brad, my son, he runs at Grandview, and then I get down there once in a while to see him run. Still back home in the Sinking Spring? Yeah, we're still there. All right, haven't changed at all, okay. And Jimmy, of course, now, can you still pick up any trade secrets off these guys? Are, you, are they asking you for some hot setups? No, I always ask them. I call I call Kevin up once in a while and, you know, and talk me off the cliff, you know, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, we... Uh, trying to figure out how to get these cars to go like we used to. And probably both of these guys still wish they had the opportunity that you have the behind the wheel of a top-notch big block here every Saturday night. I, I, the way I've been going, I'll give them the car. <laughs> they can, here, here's my suit. Jump in it. <laughs> no, there's no two ways about it. You're, you're far from being out of the limelight no matter what track you go to. And you've been putting on a lot of mileage in 2021. Uh, not as much as we did last year, but uh, we calmed down a little bit, but we we, you know, we ran Georgetown last week, and you know, we actually run pretty good. You know, if a driver didn't screw up, he might have won the race. But we ended up getting third, so um, hopefully it's a good note, and we'll see if we can back it up this tonight. You know, like we said to, uh, to to Bob Dini over there, it just never gets old, does it? No matter how old the driver gets, it just never gets old. Well, I wouldn't go that far. It does get old, but uh, no, I was talking about the, it, 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 not the driver now. <laughs> it, uh, you know, the passion's still there, you know, and it's just glad I can still jump behind the wheel and race it. Got to be a lot of fun coming out here on a Saturday night, and of course, mixing it up with, with different types of drivers. Some of them the kids out there that you're side-by-side -side with are only like, uh, well, maybe a fraction of your age, and hey, there's even some guys older than you out there. that You don't see that in NASCAR on a Sunday afternoon. Only here at Orange County do you see that kind of a wide uh, diversity of age variation on a Saturday night. Well, uh, NASCAR got some young pups there, too, but uh, down, down about 12 you, you run down the straightway and look over and you got a 12-year-old racing next to you. I said, that's it. We're pulling in the pits. We're done. <laughs> the bottom line, and a lot of drivers have always said this, you're just as big as they are when you're in your car. Everybody's the same size and the same age. Oh, yeah. That's, you, you know, you can't look at it like, oh, I can't run into that kid. But uh, they put the helmet on the same way you do, so they're planning on racing. You know, Jimmy Horton, I'll tell you what, still keeping everybody on the edge of their seats here at the Orange County Speedway, uh, whatever the big blocks are on the schedule. Can't thank you enough. A guy that haven't, hasn't been here in Orange County for, well, quite some time as far, as far as a race car owner is going. Kevin Collins, well, I'll tell you what, we still think of you every time we get on Route 33 down there waiting yeah, on a Saturday night to come up here. It's like, I wonder what Kevin and Don are doing tonight. Well, on a Saturday night, generally I'm working somewhere at a racetrack, so uh, I wouldn't be uh, able to come here. I, I uh, live in uh, North Carolina right right now, and I travel with a with a NASCAR team, so I wouldn't be able to come. Now, several years back, of course, you kind of got the big break in racing, got called down south, and tell us about your endeavors right now and, and where it all began. Oh, wow. Uh, began a long time ago. I think it was 1990-something, uh, later in the 90s. I don't know the exact year, but I, I, I work for quite a few teams, different types of teams, truck teams, uh, Xfinity teams, cup teams. Uh, I work I've last 10 years, 11 years, I've been working for uh, Penske Racing and I just kind of oversee uh, right now my job. I've had numerous jobs there, but I oversee uh, taking care of advising the crew chiefs and uh, keeping them all working together real, real good and liking each other. <laughs> now going back to the 70s and 80s here at the Orange County Speedway, the beautiful uh, beige 32 cars are always eye catchers, usually at the front of the pack as well. Got to miss those Saturday nights up here at Orange County? Uh, occasionally I do. I, I don't have a lot of time to think about it, but I had good cars like Bucky Niger and the guys who owned that particular car, Richard
Richard Marinelli with the M1. I've had good cars here, so uh, it made my job a little easier. Well, certainly proud for the race fans here at Orange County and the track staff and management to see one of our own Saturday night guys get elevated and then sent down south and become prominent uh, team members with some real, real big names in NASCAR. Well, I, I just got lucky. I could, I could fabricate a little bit better than most, and they needed those things, and I proved myself just by accident, and it just happened. It wasn't intentional. Well, your efforts were well recognized, and of course, we got to respect you for that. And of course, thank you for coming back up north here for a Saturday night at Orange County. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, again, the Mount Rushmore of Orange County on a Saturday night. Kenny Brightfield, Kevin Collins, and Jimmy Horton, and they're all still smiling. Great to see you on Nostalgia Night 2021 here at the legendary House of Power.